Stop, this is so heartbreaking, oh my god. Hi. Yes, guys, that's true. Today we're watching The Shawshank Redemption. I have never seen this film before, okay? I know, don't yell at me. This was actually recommended by a friend and I wanted to watch this movie for like the longest time, so today is the day and you know what, like, I know it's a classic and I should have probably watched it like years ago, but honestly, it's more exciting to watch something with you guys, you know, for the first time, so it's more exciting for us. Also, place your bets on whether I'll cry in this video or not. You know what the obvious choice will be? <laughs> But you know what? Maybe I'll stay strong. I watched The Whale yesterday and it was not pretty. Like, I cried all the way through. It was just so triggering for so many reasons. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. So sit down, relax, grab a snack and let's hop right into it. But before we do that, you know the drill. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my socials. The links are in the description. I cannot believe I'm finally watching this. It just feels surreal. Isn't it like the best film of all time? Like it's a big deal. While my heart stands still. I actually really enjoy when movies open up with like scenes like this with such songs and stuff. It just immediately creates an atmosphere and puts you in the right mood, you know what I mean? Would my every prayer begin oh, and this little transition, like it's coming from the radio. Perfect. What is this? It's not a gun. Oh, it is a gun. And some booze. We're not having a good day. Mr. Dufresne, describe the confrontation you had with your wife the night oh, she was murdered. We're jumping straight into... Is he on trial for murdering his wife? She said she was glad I knew. That she hated all the sneaking around. She had a lover. I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Okay, that's not looking great. I think we're going down. Golf pro at the Snowden Hills Country Club. The man you had recently discovered was your wife's lover. That sucks. I mean, that's not a reason to kill her. Don't get me wrong, but that sucks. I was confused. And drunk. Drunk. Yeah. Oh, and you had a gun. Ay, ay, ay. I stopped and I threw my gun into the Royal River. I feel I've been very clear on this point. God, I don't know whom to believe. Yet you still maintain that you threw your gun into the river. That's very convenient. It's the truth. I want to believe him so bad. <laughs> like, I'm not sure why. But I really want to believe he didn't do it. So there could be no comparison made between your gun and the bullets taken from the blood-stained corpses of the victim. Okay, based on the evidence, specifically on the evidence, he looks guilty as hell. They had sinned. They did. Was their crime so great as to merit a death sentence? Nope. But also, don't cheat. Why would you do that? I submit that this was not a hot-blooded crime of passion. Oh, he's saying it was premeditated. Cold-blooded nature. Consider this. Stop to reload so that he could shoot each of them again. And here I am, sitting here, literally trying to convince you that he's not the guy, that he didn't do it. Do I have poor judgment? I feel like I don't. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Oh, consecutive. Why not a death sentence? You know, just asking, I'm just curious. Especially when they say he was so brutal with the killings. Like, stop to reload and stuff. We see by your file you've served 20 years of a life sentence. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, then you're out. I mean, I learned my lesson. No longer danger to society. I mean, it's so hard with people who are given, like, life sentences, because that means that they did something really horrible. But also, I want to believe in rehabilitation. I truly believe that prisons are supposed to exist to rehabilitate people, not to punish them. You know what I mean? What do you guys think about, like, the prison system in general? Rejected! Oh, come on. What was he supposed to say? I don't know. I think people can change. It's ridiculous to think otherwise. Same old shit. Different day. And how you feel? I'm up for rejection next week. <laughs> this movie already makes me feel bad for criminals. Like all of them are convicted felons, for God's sake. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Cigarettes, a bag of reefer, if that's your thing. Okay, so here is the guy. So when Andrew Dufresne came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him. What? I told him, no problem. How is it even possible? On the outside, he'd been vice president of a large Portland bank. Good work for a man as young as he was. So you're saying he's smart and talented, okay. God, they're treating them like they're 
animals in a zoo or something. Taking bets today, Red. All right, who's your horse? That little sack of shit. What are they betting on? I must admit I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. Looked like a stiff breeze would blow him over. Well, you know what they say. Don't judge the book by its cover. Ten cigarettes. That's a rich bet. All right, who's gonna prove me wrong? What is about to happen? I'm kind of scared. Rule number one. No blasphemy. Huh? The hell? Oh, sorry. <laughs> but that's weird that it's rule number one. I'll not have the Lord's name taken in vain in my prison. Okay. The other rules, you'll figure out as you go along. First rule of Fight Club, we don't talk about Fight Club. When do we eat? That's a valid question. What are you doing? No! You shit when we say you shit, and you piss when we say oh you my piss. God. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker! <gasps> oh my god! Why are you do- That was such a normal question! I believe in two things. Discipline, and the Bible. Oh, the Bible? That basically says, don't do anything with malice, don't hurt people. That Bible? Move to the end of the cage. Turn around. What are they doing? The first night's the toughest. Skin burning and half blind from that delousing shit they throw on you. Yeah, what the hell was that about? Honestly, like, the contrast must be so stark between your life that you are used to living, kinda, and this life. Like, this must feel so shitty. On the other hand, though, don't be a freaking criminal. You know what I mean? Though there are plenty of cases of people who have been falsely accused and falsely convicted. And that sucks. When those bars slam home. That's when you know it's for real. Most new fish come close to madness the first night. That's really awful. Realizing that that's what your life is now. Puts so much into perspective though. All the troubles that you thought were the worst things in your life. You reevaluate literally everything. At least that's what I think happens. I obviously cannot speak from personal experience. Like, if you have your freedom, if you're relatively free to do something you want, just please do it. At least you have a chance. The only question is, who's it gonna be? It's as good a thing to bet on as any, I guess. That's what they're betting on? Who's gonna cry first? Oh, that's ruthless. The boys always go fishing with first-timers, and they don't quit till they reel someone in. Badass. Oh, he's already crying. I don't belong here. We have a why are they bullying them? Come on, you guys. Don't you remember your first night? Maybe that's the reason. I want my mother. I had your mother. She wasn't that great. Mom jokes, of course. I ain't supposed to be here. Oh, come on, Bobby. man. I ain't gonna count to three. Stop. I'm not even gonna Don't do you it. Don't oh my god, don't do I'm it. To be here. Open that cell. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Right in the face! What are you doing? Oh my god. Seriously? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I hear so much as a mouse fart in here. I swear by God and Sonny Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary. This is bloody insane. Like, there are still people. The fact that they did some horrible shit and ended up in prison doesn't give you the right to treat them like this. Again, we're circling back to this conversation of punishment versus rehabilitation. You're not gonna rehabilitate people by doing this. Right, and Dufresne cost me two packs of cigarettes. He never made a sound. I guess he's stronger than he looks. What? Don't look at him like that. Oh! Oh my god! I would literally die. Are you going to eat that and plan on Eating a worm? Do you mind? Okay, good, sir. That's nice and ripe. My pleasure. Oh. That's so cute! That is so cute! Jake says thank you. He has a little birdie in his pocket. Fell out of his nest over by the plate shop. I'm gonna look after him until he's big enough to fly. This is literally so adorable. You pulling for me duty this week? How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Do you? What? Old bastard laid there to this moment. Right in hell, it wasn't nothing we could do. Piss of shit. So he literally killed a guy. Jail. He deserves jail. This whole system is so rotten. You know, with all the cover-ups and beatings and killings, nobody cares about the convicts. I was just wondering if anyone knew his name. Doesn't fucking matter what his name was, he's dead. He was a person. Have some human decency, I don't know. Hey. Don't. Anybody get to you yet, I could be a friend to you. 
I don't feel comfortable at all. He finally opened his mouth to say more than two words to somebody, as it turned out. That somebody that was somebody me. somebody was me. <laughs> I knew that. Everybody in here is innocent. Didn't do it. Lawyer fuck Of me. course. <laughs> but serving time for something you didn't do must suck so hard. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. A what? A rock hammer. What is it and why? He's like, I'm not staying in this shithole. Well, if it was a toothbrush, I wouldn't ask questions. I'd just quote a price. But then a toothbrush is a non-lethal object, isn't it? Well, it depends on how you use it. Just saying. So I'm a rock hound. I'd like to be again on a limited basis. Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. Or maybe he wants to dig a hole in the ground and escape. Well, if there's any trouble, I won't use the rock hammer, okay? Then I'd guess you want to escape. Yeah. Tunnel under the wall, maybe. <laughs> That was my stupid idea. But this is a specialty item. Risk goes up, price goes up. It's making it even 10 bucks. 10 it is. Pleasure doing business with you. He had a quiet way about him. He had on an invisible coat that would shield him from this place. He's just a little bit introverted. That's okay. I think it would be fair to say I liked Andy from the start. And he's also kind of brave. Like, it takes a lot of courage not to try to fit in a place like this. I think people usually try to blend in to protect themselves, I guess. He's like, nope. I'm on my own, guys. I finally got the joke. It will take a man about 600 years to tunnel <laughs> under the wall with one of these. Wait, you can still do it, though. Don't ever give up on your dreams. Delivery for Dufresne. Look. Dude, they have a whole system here. Look. Not you. No. I don't want to see you. No. Ah! Jesus Christ. That's it. You fight better that way. Uh, you. Oh, you are so disgusting. You are so gross. What are you doing? Stop. Our prison is no fairy tale world. He never said who did it, but we all knew. That's horrible. The roof of the license plate factory needs resurfacing. Ooh, some work. Wouldn't you know it? Me and some fellows I know were among the names called. I wonder how that happened. Sorry to inform you, but your brother just died. Iron, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not, he was an asshole. Of course he gives zero fucks. Does he look like a man who cares about anyone? 35,000. Some shit, what do you think the government's gonna do to me? Take a big wet bite out of my ass is what? Yeah, that's what you deserve. Hand in your shirt and squeeze it. Dude, stop. Is he gonna give him advice or something? Hey! Mr. Hadley. Do you trust your wife? Huh? Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 What did you say? Yeah, he's gonna help him out. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. Oh, Ooh. shit. He knows his stuff. You're that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Why should I believe a smart banker like you? Because he's a smart banker. That would save you some money. If you get the forms, I'll prepare them for you. Ooh. Nearly free of charge. Nearly? He said nearly. I think a man working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. It's only my opinion. He's playing a long game. I'm not sure what it is, but he has some plan in mind. Courtesy of the hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. <laughs> Why is this so wholesome? We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. <laughs> Hell, we could have been tarring the roof of one of our own houses. We were the lords of all creation. Why is this making me emotional? He spent that break hungered in the shade. A strange little smile on his face. He's not even drinking. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. He did it just for them? I think he did it just to feel normal again. Oh my goodness. If only for a short while. This is so sad. I want to carve the pieces myself. Ooh. One side in alabaster, the opposing side in soapstone. What do you think? So you want him to smuggle some rocks? Yeah, ask you something. Why did you do it? He told you he didn't. What are you in for? Murder. Innocent. No, I actually did that. Only guilty man in Shawshank. See, I've got a dilemma here. I feel bad for feeling bad for them. Murdering people is not pretty. Peter? That's what you needed it for? To put your name on the wall of the cell? He's had it for like two years. What I really like is when she does that shit with her hair. Are you decent? Me? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that was hot. What do you want? Rita Hayworth. What? <laughs> Here it comes, okay. Take a few weeks. weeks. Wait, it's possible? <laughs> Four of them? No, guys, seriously? <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. No! Oh, he shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna open my fly. 
and you're gonna swallow what I give you to swallow. Uh. And when you swallow mine, you're gonna swwallow roosters. You don't broke his nose. I think you ought to have something to show for it. I'm gonna throw up. You should know that sudden serious brain injury causes the victim to bite down hard. They have to pry the victim's jaws open with a crowbar. I'm a psycho. You don't understand. You don't understand who you were messing with. Box didn't put anything in Andy's mouth. That's a win. What is happening? Ooh, what? revenge. Yeah. <laughs> You messed with the wrong man. We have guards backing us up. We have guards on our side. Now it's shit. No! No! Help! Me! Well, have a taste of your own medicine. He lived out the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. Oh my god. That is insane. Which only proves my point that nobody gives a fuck about prisoners. And of course, the most important item. Rita Hayworth herself. That's what they meant? I was fully convinced they meant, like, the actual woman. That was really dumb of me. <laughs> That's actually, like, so dumb. But it was so neatly organized. Pleased to see you reading this. Of course. I'm a holy man. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John chapter 8. I think he's testing his knowledge. And my boy is passing. He's passing this test with flying colors. Look at him, like, making friends all around. Can't say I approve it of this. It says mother. <laughs> it says mother suppose... on the wall. Norton wanted to size Andy up. Well, of course. He wants something out of him, I guess. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. We earned ourselves a promotion. <sighs> Oh, the bird is thriving. How long have you been librarian? I come here on odd five and they made me librarian in 19 and 12. Oh my god. He's been in prison for half a century. Be free! That's him. That's the one. What do we need him for? Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' education. Oh, okay. They want him to be like a sort of advisor on like financial matters, I guess. And then Andy says it, Mr. Deacon, you want your sons to go to Harvard? <laughs> he sure knows how to make friends. Well, I guess the best way to make friends in prison is to make yourself useful, which is exactly what he's doing. I wouldn't say friends. I'm a convicted murderer who provides sound financial planning. He's very self-aware. How about expanding the library? Ask the warden for funds. Budget stretched thin as it is. I'll still try, he said. Uh, I'll write a letter a week. They can't ignore me forever. Sure can. But you write your letters if it makes you happy. Well, that's better than nothing. Andy got no answers. Well, maybe one day. And it did tax returns for half the guards of Shawshank. <laughs> See, making yourself useful. He was allowed a staff, and that was fine by me. And still, he kept sending those letters. That's right, don't give up. It will pay off someday. Andy, it's Brooks. Just Please, Brooks, just calm the fuck down. Stay back! Stay back, goddammit! Wait, I, I thought he was dying or something. And he's just losing his marbles. <gasps> what are you doing? It's the only, it's the only way they let me stay. What? I didn't do nothing. I come in here to say fairly well. And you heard his parole come through. He doesn't want to get out. That's why he wanted to murder him. That is so sad. Brooks ain't no bug. It's just, it's just institutionalized. I mean, come on, he spent like, what, six decades here in this prison? He doesn't have a life. He doesn't know a different life. It's very hard to start anew. So I kind of understand why he wants to stay. Honestly, he's a librarian living his quiet librarian life. And the outside world is scary, especially for people with convictions on their record. He spent like six decades in jail. What's waiting for him there? in the outside world. Literally nothing. He's an old man, nobody will give him a job. I doubt that he has family. Like, there's nothing for him outside. These walls are funny. First you hate them, then you get used to them. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I can't take care of you no more, Jake. <sighs> You're gone now. Is he saying goodbye to the bird? Oh no. I cannot imagine the feeling. You know, walking out of these gates after 50 years. Stop, this is so heartbreaking, oh my god. And I do realize the irony, like I'm sitting here almost tearing up, watching a man literally getting out of prison, like becoming free. That's insane. It's just something about seeing people 
realize that they don't have anything. I saw an automobile once when I was a kid, but now they're everywhere. He doesn't have anyone here, and the world is a completely different place. And a job, bagging groceries at the foodway. Okay, that's that's nice. Make sure your man double bags. Last time he didn't double bag, and the bottom He's here. Came out. He can hear you. Maybe I should get me a gun and, and rob the foodway so they'd send me home. <gasps> he said, "Send me home." I've decided not to stay here on Earth. Don't tell me he's gonna off himself. No. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. Stop! Yeah, just like he said, he was someone in there, in prison, he was someone, he had someone. Here, he has no one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brooks was here. Man, this is so sad. And he put his name on his wall. You tell me, fuck stick, they're all addressed to you. The books! The books have arrived. He finally got through to them. We now consider the matter closed. Please stop sending us letters. They said, please, man, we can't take them anymore. Please stop harassing us with your letters. It only took six years. <laughs> six years? So persistent. See, it's all about consistency and discipline. Hard work pays off. Andy, do you hear that? No. I don't know where this is coming from. Did you just lock the door? What are you doing? What's in that head of yours? Oh, he wants he wants everyone to enjoy it. The sound of music. <laughs> wow, just look at this. I mean, he's not doing anything bad. It was like some beautiful bird flapped into our drab little cage and made those walls dissolve away. He's gonna pay for that, though. He's gonna be in so much trouble. But it's all worth it, I feel like. He's such a selfless man, come on. And for the briefest of moments, every last man at Shawshank felt free. Guess he's doing it all for them. Not for him. Open it up! Open it's just some music, come on. Can they listen to some Mozart in peace? You're mine now. He realizes that. Oh, that was violent. And he got two weeks in the hole for that little stunt. Look who's here. Maestro. But he earned some respect. And that's what matters. That's the beauty of music. They can't get that from you. I mean, music, your imagination also. Like, people can get easily lost in their dreams. You can literally live in a fantasy world that you created in your head. Like, that's wonderful how our minds work. Astonishing. Here's where it makes the most sense. You need it so you don't forget. Forget. Yeah, that there's more to this life than a cage you live in. There's something inside that they can't get to, that they, they can't touch. You can't forget that you're a person. It's yours. Talking about your soul. Hope. Oh my God. Hope can drive a man insane. That's true, though. It's got no use on the inside. Like I get what you're saying. Sometimes hope can be very toxic, and hurtful. Even. I get it. Better get used to that idea. Like Brooks did. I can't. I mean. I get both sides. Andy, for me, like, he's a man from a completely different universe. And I praise people like him, who can always look on the bright side, you know, always have hope, because that's just not who I am, <laughs> unfortunately. It says here that you serve 30 years of life sentence. Is it gonna work this time? You feel you've been rehabilitated? Without a doubt. And I can honestly say I'm a changed man. Oh, he doesn't even change the script. I had to go through one of your competitors. I hope you don't mind. I, I wanted to be a surprise. What is it? A chess piece or something? It's a harmonica! Oh my god! <gasps> you kidding me? Oh, that's so sweet. New girl for your 10-year anniversary. <sighs> Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> my dude's just staring at her. I suppose that's not much to do in prison. The state senate finally clued into the fact they couldn't buy him off with just a $200 check. <laughs> he was so annoying, they finally gave in. He made deals with book clubs, charity groups. Treasure Island, Robert Lewis. Ooh, Stevenson. By Alexandre Dumas. Dumas. No way you just pronounce it like that. <laughs> that's so funny, though. <laughs> Dumas. Dumas. 
know what that's about? A man is keeping a prison. You like it? It's about a prison. Yeah. Well, we ought to file that on the educational too. <laughs> educational. Best prison library in New England complete with a fine selection of Hank Williams. My man, single-handedly, did more good to this prison than the state has ever done to any prison. And now it's starting to feel like this is more about rehabilitation than punishment. Because now they're starting to treat them like actual human beings, not just pieces of garbage, you know, disposable pieces of furniture, basically. Genuine progressive advance in corrections and rehabilitation. And he's jumping on this bandwagon. There are a hundred different ways to skim off the top. Men, materials, you name it. Yeah, by the way, free labor is slavery, like actual slavery. Convicts should absolutely get paid for the job they're doing for the labor because they're human beings. And what the warden is doing here is inappropriate and disgusting. The problem with having all that money is that sooner or later you're gonna have to explain where it came from. Well, that's where I come in. Covering it all up. All his dirty business. It's gonna lead to somebody. I'm sure it is. But not to me. And certainly not to the warden. To who, then? Randall Stevens. Who's that? Who? He's the guilty one, Your Honor. The man with the bank accounts. Did he make him up? But who is he? He's a phantom. An apparition. Oh, no Second way. Cousin Harvey. He did make him up. If they ever trace any of those accounts, they're going to wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. That's very illegal. Tommy Williams came to Shawshank in 1965 on a two-year stretch for B&E. <laughs> Why does he look like Elvis? So I'm backing out the door, right? I got the TV, like this. Well, that's another guilty one in Shawshank. <laughs> Damn proud of that. Perhaps it's time you tried a new profession. You don't seem to be a very good thief. <laughs> Maybe you should try something else. Oh, don't. He'll start going around killing people or something. What are you in for? Lawyer, fuck me. Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? Yeah, spreading this prison wisdom around. Passing it to the younger generation. Trying for my high school equivalency here. You helped a couple fellows with that. Time time. Huh? That's so rude, sir. Tommy took to it pretty well, too. Boy found brains he never knew he had. Literally me every day. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you how the goddamn score comes out. Ooh. That's a little bit aggressive. Fuck this place! Fuck it! Man, don't give up that easily. You spent one year studying. I understand you're frustrated, but honestly, pull yourself together. Get a new cellmate in. Talked all the time, too. That's the other thing. He never shut up. I don't like where he's going. I got me this job one time, busting tables at a country club. Did he kill them? Golf pro, but she married some other guy. Oh my god. Some hotshot banker. Oh my god. Get out. Get the fuck out. He was innocent. Hey, that's the most amazing story I ever heard. What amazes me most is you were taken in by it. Well, maybe it's true. Yes, I did it, I confess. Oh, and by the way, I had a life term to my sentence. Yeah, by the way, people who talk in prisons, like, to their cellmates about stuff they weren't convicted of, dumb. Very dumb. Sir, if I were to ever get out, I would never mention what goes on in Don't, here. I'd be don't even mention this. For wondering that money. Yep. Don't you ever mention money to me again. Yeah, we're not friends in here. Mm-mm. He's just using you because it's convenient. That's it. Solitary, a month. Yes, sir. Hot. A month? What's the matter with you? Are you kidding me? Board of Education. Right Son of a bitch mailed it. Like he did. Is he gonna get his diploma? Or whatever, a certificate or something? Well, shit. Kid passed. C plus average. That's so nice. Well, that's another life he changed. This budget Elvis has a chance now. Warden wants to talk. Okay, this is shady. They're not gonna hurt him. Are they? Tommy? He wants to shut him up. I'm asking you to keep this conversation just between us. Feel awkward enough as it is. He's either gonna bribe him somehow, or he's gonna hurt him. Because he wants to shut him up. Not to tell anyone about this conversation. I have to know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Wait, yes, wait, wait. Absolutely. Would you be willing to swear before a oh, judge? Oh no, no, don't. Having placed your hand on the good golf and taken an I know what's coming. Do not answer. Just give me that chance. Oh my god, he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. What a piece of shit. Just 
wanted to tell the fucking truth. I'm so mad right now. Less than a year to go trying to escape. Broke Cat Madley's heart to shoot him. Such a nasty human being. In the library? Well, that was a little book barbecue in the yard. How can you be so heartless? Give him another month to think about it. Stop. I'm not a violent person, okay? But I want both of them to be hit by a bus and then got struck by lightning and then eaten by a kraken or something. She was beautiful. I killed her, Red. I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. It's not entirely your fault. Like, it takes two to tango. If a relationship doesn't work out, it is usually both of the parties that are guilty. Feel bad about it if you want to, but you didn't pull the trigger. I didn't expect that the storm would last as long. You can't keep blaming yourself for all the bad shit that happens in your life. It will drive you insane. Like, some things are just out of your control. You can't stop them from happening. And you just have to accept it. That's the truth. And it sucks. Like, he is an innocent man sitting in jail. He served, what, like 20 years now? For literally something he didn't do. I cannot imagine that. But it happens. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? They say it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. Just to forget it. Forget this nightmare. Looks like that, I could use a man that knows how to get things. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. I don't think I could make it on the outside, Andy. Hell, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, if they both get out, then they have each other, right? That hotel, that boat. I don't think that's too much to ask. That's such a nice dream, by the way. I think hotels are fascinating. Like, all these people with different lives, all of them under the same roof. They all have their stories, their secrets, their histories. All of them in one place for just one night. I don't know, maybe you'll find it weird. I just love hotels. It comes down to a simple choice. If you're busy living, oh you'll get busy dying. That's so true, though. The big oak tree at the north end. There's something buried under it I want you to have. What is this? Why is he telling him all this? I don't have a good feeling about this, guys. He's not giving up on himself. Is he? He asked me for a length of rope. Rope? No. Six feet. No, we're not doing this. Remember Brooks Hamlin? No. And he'd never do that. Yeah, I thought he was a positivity guy. Never say never, though, because you you never know. Never. You never know what's happening inside people's heads. Sometimes what you are showing to people is just the tip of the iceberg and something is eating you up inside and nobody has a clue. Look at me split. Wanna get home. Still works for this bastard. Ooh, he makes my blood boil. He seems so determined. I'm scared. I think it's a misdirect. He can't he can't do it. I don't believe it. I am a droid. I am always right. Is he there? He's not there. Oh, he's not there. Maybe he escaped. <laughs> I am always right. You hear me? He's not, right? He escaped. <laughs> he took his shoes. <laughs> That's my man. Maybe she knows. What say you there, fussy britches? Man, you take the poster know? off. That's probably like a giant hole. Damn conspiracy! And everyone's in on it! Including her. He used that tiny hammer. It's been more than two decades. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. My man has always been persistent and determined. Imagine how much time it took. Oh my god. Oh. It's not concrete, that's why. Turns out, Andy's favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. That's crazy that he was able to pull this off. Oh? Oh, that's a different book. He switched, he switched the papers. Yeah, it's time. Today's the day. But how did he know where to dig? Or did he just went on until he reached this, whatever this place is? And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit yeah. smelling foulness. Well, that's what freedom costs you. <laughs> I'm so happy, literally. Look at him. He's finally there. A man nobody ever laid eyes on before strolled into the main national bank. Is he gonna reveal his dirty little secrets? He had all the proper IDs, 
driver's license, oh birth certificate, God. social security card. He's so brilliant. His mind is so brilliant. All told, he blew town with better than $370,000 yes. of Warden oh Norton's money. Oh my God, justice Severance is served. 19. Yes, thank God. Hear that? They are coming after you, my man. You are right, Salvation Lee. <laughs> He's so witty. I wasn't there to see it, but I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. Come on, man. This is the most satisfying ending I've ever seen. Like, literally. Yes, that's what you deserve. That's what both of you deserve, okay? We have a warrant for your arrest. Open up. Oh, come on. Are you gonna, you know? You will, yeah. That's what I expected. I got a postcard in the mail. Is this from Mexico? Andy Dufresne, headed for the Pacific. Come on, this is so satisfying. The place you live in is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. I guess I just miss my friend. I thought he would get out and like they would meet or something. That can't be the last day they saw each other, please. You feel you've been rehabilitated? You know, I don't have any idea what that means. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he flipped the script though. Not a day goes by, I don't feel regret. I look back on the way I was. That kid's long gone. Yeah, like he spent his whole life behind bars. It's crazy to think that for some people, that's literally what their life is. Like they don't know anything else. They do not experience anything else. It's just this. I know he said he wouldn't make it, but I think he can. He has the strength. And Andy is also out there somewhere. Oh, they gave him the same room. Stop. Only one thing stops me. The promise that you gave. A promise I made yeah. to Andy. Okay, let's see what it is. Some photos. Oh, that's some cash. Oh, he probably changed it. That's a letter to him from Andy. I could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. Stop. Hope is a good <laughs> thing. Maybe the best of things. Stop. I will be hoping that this letter finds you, your friend, Andy. Come on now. It's just something about people finding hope again. It always gets me. That's goddamn right. Chose the right thing. Oh, and so was Rad. Come on. Oh, this is so powerful. And they meet again. Oh my god. Two free men. They made it. Whew. <laughs> what a movie. I need some time to collect myself. And they both got a happy ending. This is so surreal. Like, it doesn't feel real. It feels too good to be true, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't happen in movies. Anyway, this movie was so great. So powerful. There's so much in my head and nothing at the same time. Like, I cannot... I cannot put into words what I feel about this movie. I mean, there is something about people getting a second chance and becoming hopeful again. That makes me feel miserable. <laughs> I don't know why. I want to feel the same thing, but it's hard. So whenever I come across movies like this, I'm like, you guys are doing so great and I'm so happy for you, but God damn it, I cannot do it myself. <laughs> this is a masterpiece. I get it now why this movie is so highly appreciated and praised. Amazing cast, of course, an amazing story. I just loved it. This movie is a freaking journey. Like, you get emotionally attached to people, for sure. I just got so involved. <laughs> I don't know how to, to explain this. It's just an overwhelming feeling, you know what I mean? Please don't think I'm a cynic and, like, a pessimistic person, because I'm not. It's just sometimes I struggle to find hope, but it passes. <laughs> it's just a phase, I promise. <laughs> anyway, this was a brilliant movie. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.